Oh, pilots and ground crew, welcome back to my channel. Well, what do you think we're going to talk about today then? The weather! Yeah, it's been bl- no, I'm joking. Now, uh, two backpacks to show you today. And the reason why I'm doing it this way, I've got a new backpack, right? But this is my old backpack. And basically, I wanted to show you my old one first, right? And uh, this is the Lumineer. 250 backpack, QRB 250 backpack. I wanted to show you this one first because I've had it about four years now. God, has it come down in price. It was uh, nearly 200 a quid or about 180 quid when I got it. And now it's down to about 70 or something. But uh, all the information in the description. But uh, if you're a new pilot, right, this is an ideal backpack. It's still perfect. It's not as if I'm throwing it away out. Right, it you can only hold two quads with it, one on the inside, one on the outside. I suppose you could strap them up in different places and stuff like that if you was really, really bothered. But uh, battery space is a bit limited as well. Right, but it's a bloody good backpack. Right, but I'm upgrading so I can get a bigger backpack, put more stuff in, which uh, you'll see in about. Five minutes. I'll show you around this one first though. I'll change the camera angle and uh, zoom in a bit so you can uh, have a closer look. Ah. Right then pilots, uh, let's start by just removing this top quad I've got on here. Right, you've got uh, a little, uh, well, a pouch case to keep your transmitter in at the front. I just got my turner G in there at the moment. Got loads of extra little side packets, extra straps, zip pockets for different stuff, and cleaning cloths and stuff. Extra little pockets in here for whatever, basically. But uh, yeah, so you've got you can get a full size. I had me uh, Futaba transmitter in there. I've had so there's plenty of room for a, a full size transmitter. But the reason why I'm showing you both backpacks is so you've got an option. And there you go. When you open this up here, you've got... Uh, can you see that? Check the camera. Yeah. You've got two zip compartments here to keep whatever you want in. Right. As you can see, if I just... Uh, let's see. Alter this camera angle a bit. Uh, zoom in for you. Uh, there you go. You've got built in six compartments for six LiPo's. You've got extra compartments down here for whatever. You can get uh, 10 LiPo's basically. These are the yeah, 4S ones. I've made a lot of alterations to this since I've got it. As this was a lot smaller and uh, I've cut stuff out to fit different quads on different times and stuff and cut cut different areas out and got all my bits and pieces in there and stuff like that but you can alter it however you want this backing case this foam case comes out and at the back there's a, a water sheet plus an extra cover if you just want to use it as a normal backpack right. you've got a compartment here to keep whatever in I'm going through it quick because we've got two backs, two packs to go through. On the top, you've got an extra little zip there, right, to keep whatever in, battery checkers and stuff, lipo checkers. On the side, speaks for itself, you've got areas to connect up, well, anything you want, you've got loads of loops and stuff to hook on, whatever. I, can, I always know, a lot of people will be thinking, why well, you got loads of uh, lipo straps on there? When I go to the field, I always make sure I've got at least five or six lipo straps with me, right? Not that you're going to go through five or six lipo straps, but that's the one important thing. If a strap busts and you haven't got a spare with you, you're not flying anymore, full stop. You can have as many spare props and batteries as you like, but if you haven't got a spare battery strap, you're screwed. And on that side, just a couple of tools, another battery strap, uh, just a couple of tools there, uh, a few more tools in there, and some scissors and stuff, and uh, keep more tools in the bottom, 
where uh, I opened up for the transmitter there's also a, a pouch at the bottom where I keep pliers and things like that if you twist the straps round at the back this compartment opens up too and in here I've got some spare props and more props and more props there's loads of room for props in there and uh, also you've got a velcro cover here right and an extra little pocket and extra padding and put these back you can get a laptop in there as well because the other part opens and you can get a laptop in I don't mean a 14 inch laptop <laughs> and it's very well made like I say I've had that now four years and I have never it's never split, cracked, leaked, and I say leaked as in if it's rained because it's 100% waterproof. Right, and this is the uh, Luminia one. Right, yeah, I've got some tools down there as well. The uh, more tools in there. <laughs> it's about Luminia and it's the QAV 250 backpack. And it's a bloody good pack. I mean, I've been happy with this for ages now. Does everything I needed it to do. But because now I want to take more batteries with me, yeah, yeah, you can carry a separate bag and put extra batteries in and stuff like that. But I want something I can fit everything in. Now, uh, I've looked at, just leave that there a minute and just zoom out again. Uh, Sorry about this, just zooming out. There you go. Oops. I'm not cutting this. Just so I can get back in shot. Yeah, I've looked at the uh, slouch down because the camera's too low. <laughs> yeah, I've looked at a few different other backpacks. The, the bit of flight one. It's, it's too bloody expensive. I'm not paying another 200 quid for it. I mean, when I bought this, yeah, four years ago, it was a new thing, so everything was expensive. Everything. That was back in the days of the old ZMR frames. Now, there's loads of new pilots out there thinking, what the hell's a ZMR frame? Most people had them, and the old, uh, oh, what was that other one? Uh, not the Black Hawk. Oh, I can't remember the name of it. Anyhow, some old frames when the first uh, started getting into uh, quads and stuff. But yeah, so you've seen that backpack and it's a bloody good backpack. And for new pilots, like I say, you can have about 10 batteries in there. Yeah, you'll probably be able to jam more in if you want. Uh, but it, it's designed for about 10 packs. And there's loads of room for tools and stuff. And like I say, you can strap quads on the front and on the inside but I wanted somewhat, somewhat a bit easier to use shall we say because like I say you've got a separate bag here you have to unzip take your transmitter out and stuff right? and then on the inside you've got all your little compartments which are fine but then you're putting everything back away oh like bloody Thunderbirds then I should have worn my Thunderbirds t-shirt puppets anyway oh fuck deserve one of them but uh, yeah, uh, it can be a bit of a pain sometimes. So that's why I've upgraded to, uh, well not actually upgraded, if anything I've downgraded because it's a hell of a lot cheaper though than what I paid for this new backpack. So let's take a look at a new one then. And it's the uh, Relic FPV Racer Backpack uh, by Relic. <laughs> Okay then, let's uh, move this out the road and get the new one in and show you that one and tell you, or you'll see, actually you'll see why uh, I've got uh, the new one. But I will not be getting rid of this, so nobody turn around and say do you want to sell it, because uh, it's a bloody good backpack and uh, it'll still come in handy, believe me. Okay then, uh, let's do a, a jump shot, let's do them wavy lines that go up to the top. They're like the watermarks. Here we go. Whee! And we're back with your second choice. Like I say, this is just a couple of choices uh, so you can make your own mind up. 
But now that first backpack that you were just looking at, right, that's like a high quality one. It's roughly the same price as this now. Isn't it? It's a little bit more expensive, but it's roughly the same price they are. Right, but when I first got it, it was like nearly 200, so it's really high quality. Whereas this one is a more affordable, shall we say, backpack now nowadays. It's classed as a more affordable backpack right, because uh, it's cheaper and the quality is slightly lower. But at the same time, right, it's a bloody good backpack. Right, that's why I ordered it. Right, because it it'll make life a bit easier to get at stuff. Right. I haven't filled it yet, there's bugger all in it, right, to show you. Right, what I'll do is uh, give you a quick look around and then I'll put some stuff in it. You've got two compartments here and here, uh, as you can see, hopefully there. It's made by Relic, right, FPV Racing, right, but Relic or Real ACC, however you want to pronounce it. On the front bit here, you have a, a flap. Right, comes with like a tool pouch, and uh, no, it doesn't come with the tools. So, no, <laughs> my these are my tools. I just put them in just to see if uh, the ones I carry, or most of the ones I carry, will fit, which they do. Inside there, you've got uh, more little compartments and a big, big compartment there. Right. You can get stuff in there with that tool box, because uh, tool bag, which I, because I've just had a, a go, had a look. You got a couple of compartments at the side. This one's got like a, well, it, it's not elastic. It's a proper strap strap, and you've got a big pocket here, so you can put I don't know a drinks canister or whatever you want, obviously. On this side, you've got. A bigger pouch, which will be for my chair, because you've got a little uh, loop and strap job here to hold whatever in place there. You've got loops and stuff here, a quad, a quad strap, you strap your quad on, you can get more than one quad on if you wanted to. Uh, the back is where you get at. Now this is something I did really like, right? because on my other quad, Maybe the other backpack when you take it off this bit that goes on your body shall we say on your back on the other backpack this bit goes on the floor and you open it from the front so if you're not paying attention if you happen to put that down in some water or some bloody dog crap or cat crap or whatever that's the bit that goes on your back whereas with this it goes the opposite way this side opens up and you have all your gear in there. You get a waterproof sheet, you see that's different as well because the other one is 100% waterproof but you get a waterproof sheet to wrap around it if you need to if you're out and it starts raining. This is a bag that comes with lots of little dividers to divide your section up which you'll see when I put the gear in. You've got two compartments here for, well, whatever. Now, big. Now, push it too big because I reckon it's, well, I don't know if it's split, but you're not going to get now bulky in there. Maybe some lipo straps or whatever. This side's a bit more, you've got a bit more elastic key on this side, so you might get some props in there if you want to. You'd put whatever you want in, you'd figure it out yourself. But, uh, yeah. That's it. Oh, and you've got a strap here which comes across to help hold everything. But uh, yeah, so that that's it. Like I say, the relic. Right, it feels nice. You know what I mean? It's got a little reflective cover there if you're walking at night and the car light shines up, you've got it on your back. So that's something I've thought of. You know what I mean? You're probably not going to be walking down the middle of the road at night, but it's it's somewhat that's there. It feels pretty well made for the price. You know what I mean? Like I say, my other one, even though it's come down in price and it's not much more than this now, like I say, it was one of the higher high end ones, so it was expensive. Like now, if you, you go out and look for a good quality backpack, an expensive one, you're looking at 200 quid. 
Right, but this is like a budget ring one. But uh, it, it's well made. You, the zips, they're plastic, which is a shame. Uh, you're going to have to be a bit careful with them being plastic zips. Uh, but it's one of them things you get what you pay for. And I got this hoping I can get uh, my three inch quad and everything and my spare quads and basically get more stuff in but to get at stuff easier. Whereas like my other one you have, you've got like separate compartments to open stuff up and get stuff in and out and getting it out and putting it away can be a bit of a pain actually. I know that's a small whinge, right? It's not the end of the world but it, it's it's something I used to moan about, so I thought, right, let's try this. And uh, I saw Stu from UAV Futures, right, he loves it, right, and Grumpy Trev from UAV Futures, he loves it too, and that grumpy old bugger don't love now. <laughs> Sorry, Trev. But, uh, yeah, so I thought I'd try it out. So, yeah, let's get on the gear in and uh, see what we can get in then. And so, I'll tell you if I'm super happy with it or meh happy. Okay then, next cut and uh, put the gear in. Let's have the wavy lines going down again. Right then, pilots and ground crew. It's actually been uh, three days since I showed you this empty. Right? But uh, what I wanted to do was fill it up, take it out a couple of times, get a feel for it so I can give you an honest review about whether or not it's worth it. The very first thing I'll tell you, there's a little strap here which uh, I'll open up to lock your quad on. Oh, actually, I'll do this the other way around. I'll just undo these uh, clips. What I put, oh no, you have to do the top first. <laughs> I'm pulling on that little clip there, right. Now I'll take that little clip off there and that one off there, right. Yeah, as you could see, I had them round the arms. I put these on. This little clip here to clip your quad on is uh, crap for five inch. As you clip it on, right? Okay, it will hold your quad, but your quad's all wobbly and loose. And I suppose if it was a three inch quad, yeah, it'd be great. But for a five inch, you need some sort of stability, especially if you're walking. It's going to be all over the place and. You just don't know, right? I didn't like it straight away. Like I say, maybe for a three inch quad, yeah, but for a five inch, no. That's why I put these uh, extra little, uh, I don't know what these are called. Leave a comment, tell me. These uh, clips, you know, like uh, similar to what they'd use in rope climbing, but definitely different. Uh, I didn't know the name of them a long time ago, but whatever, I put these on and they just clip around my arm. On this particular quad, certain quads it, this won't work, but for this one to go on the back, it's perfect, and I'm super happy with it that way, and that works perfectly. Right, that's the only downside with the front bit that I would say. Right, this little compartment here, right, on this side, I've just got uh, a bag with a few spare props in for me, yeah, Sky Zone S140, me three inch. A little three inch model on that side i've just got the battery check in some uh, spare pair of glasses because i'm old so there's not a lot in there there's still loads of room so you can put your phone in while you're at the field or whatever right because there's still plenty of room in there right at that side you can see straight away right i've got uh, my chair my uh, fold up chair, you pro I'm not going to open it up, you've probably seen them before, it all opens up and folds up. If you've never seen one, right, and I get a few comments so it shows what it is, because I've also got a table like this as well, a table that folds up into a little pouch and you open it all up. So if you're interested, right, leave some comments right, and I'll open them up and show you one, but I'm sure you, you've probably seen them before. So yeah, I've got my chair in there, I had. I'm not going to take everything out, just the bits at the side to show you. Uh, I've got my uh, hot glue gun in this side and uh, a packet of cable tires. Put that back in, it's not in the road. Yeah, so that's what I'll put in there, my hot glue gun and some cable tires. Uh, right, at the front, as you open it up. 
right, I've got my soldering iron. Right, I'd like a better place for that. I could put it at the side with a hot glue gun at. Actually, yeah, because it would it'd go up through there. And when that's in there, it'd be out the road. So yeah, I'll probably swap that around. So I'll leave that out, actually. <laughs> yeah, thanks. <sighs> yeah, and I showed you tool. You get this like little, you don't get the tools. Right, you get this little case and I've got all, all my uh, go-to tools, my hex driver, 1.5 and a 2, my spanners, some soldering iron, some soldering iron, some solder, some heat shrink down there. My favourite, favourite tool, right, this is the best thing, right, it's a quad spanner for your props and motors, but uh, who cares if you never use it, it's a tool that looks like a quadcopter. If you're into quads, you have to buy one of these from Relic. You have to get one. Banggood.com. Go get yourself one. They're brilliant. Anyhow, yeah, so I've got some tools and bits and pieces in there. I can put that back. Oh, in that there's pouches in here. I did say to you there's pouches. I ain't decided what to put in. At the moment, I've just put some cloths in there just for cleaning my lenses or whatever, even though most of the time if my lens gets dirty, I do what most people do. Spit on it and wipe it with my t-shirt. <laughs> Okay then, uh, right, let's open her up and show you what I've got in. Because that was the main reason why I uh, got this bag. To get more stuff in right, and to make it a bit easier when I'm at the field. Right? Because the, if you remember the other bag, which I'll show you again in a second so you can compare. Right? Well, it's here. <laughs> Crazy man. There's a separate compartment here for your transmitter one there and you had to open little zips here to get at stuff and then there's all, you know what I mean, it's a brilliant bag, super well made, it'll last forever, right, and considering this is roughly the same price nowadays, but I got that years ago. Right, so let's open her up and uh, show you what I got in. Right, uh, this was just the water cover, I just used it basically to... Uh, Got my three inch sky zone in there. Right, and I put the water cover in just to basically just help keep it in place. Uh, got my Tyrannus uh, transmitter in there. My Tyrannus? Tyrannus? No, I haven't. No, bloody well, aren't you lying, Git George? Oh, I'm not slapping my face again. I got told off for that, actually. Anyway, yeah, self harming of some or whatever. But I don't care. Yeah, <laughs> uh, I've got a couple of me quick grab FPV antennas and my Tenergy Evolution in there. My goggles speak for myself. I've got uh, my 210 uh, go to uh, racy quad. All right, this is more of a if I'm going to be flying over concrete and stuff like that, that's why I like that quad because it's super fast, super maneuverable. I am very, very strong. <laughs> in this little pouch next to it, I've got a bag which is full of spare bits. I won't pull it out. It's full of spare bits and pieces. It's got about 10 battery straps in. We went through that last time. It's got a case with all uh, spare nuts and bolts and stuff like that. And it's got me Mobius mount. One of them little mounts. You, you've seen them. Like a, It's a tripod, but for the Mobius camera. Right, and some other bits and pieces it's got. In this uh, little bag here, I've got loads of FPV antennas. Uh, these two little pouches, I just kept some bits and pieces that I use in there, in that one. In this one, I've just got four props that I can get out really fast right, for this 210 size quad. Uh, in this bag, right, I, which came and all these covers, uh, these dividers, right, uh, I've got about 20 props in there, right, about 20 spare props. I've got uh, 15, I wanted to check on the weight, you see. Most of the time I only take about 10 light poles with me anyhow. Unless I'm going out for the entire day, then I might take 20 or 30, but most of the time I'll only take 10 out. But I wanted to see what the weight was like on my back, so I put uh, 15 four cell light poles in there. Also three uh, goggle batteries and uh, this little pouch here I've got uh, 10 lipos for me uh, 3 inch so they fit in there as well and weight wise 
the 15 4 cell and 10 3 cell, the weight wasn't too bad at all, it's well balanced out on the straps. So, weight wise, I was quite happy. And there's the FPV antenna. So, basically, I would have, if I wanted to take all that, I'd have had to take two bags, right? Or a bag in my case. If you remember with me, uh, Sky Zone, the little one, I'd put it in a Pelican case, a plastic case, which I was really happy with. But sometimes I wanted to take my bigger quads plus my little quad and then you had to carry two things and if you happen to have to walk, if you're in the car, get out of the car, start flying, great, but sometimes you have to park and walk to the other end and stuff and it can be a bit of a pain. And then if you want to take a camera with you, you've got even more stuff. So it can be a bit of a pain, that's why I wanted to try a different bag but I refuse to fork out another 200 quid for a, a bloody bag. Right, so I thought I'd try this, after all it got some great reviews. And like I say, I've had this now, right, I've been uh, using it about three days, I've only been out okay, here, three days since that last uh, video, that last review, uh, when I showed you it empty. But uh, I've been out twice with it, I'm very happy with it. With the amount of lipos, the weight, it's well balanced out, right, because uh, you get this like stomach strap, Right, which is very strong and you get a chest strap as well so the weight is well balanced out and this padding is really good padding actually I will say that it's good padding and it's the ventilation padding so it, it breathes so you don't get all it don't get all sticky on you but yeah so I'm I'm happy I'm very happy with this backpack but at the same time I was extremely happy with this backpack so any Alain pilots, I wanted to show you both because uh, it's up to you, right? it's your choice. Links in the description to whichever you want, right? if you're interested you might want something completely different. I will say one thing though, if you're a new pilot and you're just getting into this hobby, and you, you're not, you, the last thing you want to do if you're a new pilot is go out and buy 30, 40, 50 packs, lipo packs. You know what I mean? That is crazy. You'll have, I'd say, you, for a new pilot, you'll want to buy the minimum of five packs. All right? Maybe not all at once, but the minimum of five packs so you can go out and buy flav, fly five flights. All right? to start practicing because if if you and I, I i know this sounds like i'm picking on people now who i've got a lot of money but i don't know i mean i'm not bloody rich just me i have to save up for my stuff right but if you only have one battery it's going to take you forever to progress because uh, even if you're charging it out the field uh, you're going to have one flight and then maybe wait half an hour to charge it and have another flight, wait half an hour, and you're not going to be there long. So you really, to progress, you want a minimum of five packs. Right? But if you see any special deals on, get a few more. But don't go buy hundreds of the bloody things, because right? it'll cost you a fortune and you, after a few weeks you might decide you're not interested. But if you're going to get a backpack and you're a brand new pilot, and you're thinking along the lines of six, seven, eight, nine, ten lipos. I would recommend this one, this Luminea one. All right, it's a little bit. It's about ten pound, fifteen pound now, more. Maybe let's say twenty pound more than that one. All right, but it's a hundred percent, a hundred percent stronger. It, it, waterproof it, uh, th this is a backpack that will last you for years and like I say it's a, I've had this for years it's in perfect condition absolutely perfect condition all right and the only reason why I've bought this is so I can carry extra gear without carrying the two bags and stuff what I've just gone into all right but this will last right for years I mean Joking apart, this is still good enough just for me because, like I say, sometimes when I go to the field, I might only take seven, eight, nine packs with me and just go for a quick blast for an hour. Right? So this is still brilliant to use. The only reason why I wanted the bigger backpack with the more space right, is basically so that if I go and I'm taking more 
uh, I'm taking more more quads, more lipos and stuff like that. Even though you can get at least two or three with this one. Uh, it's just the battery space and then extra little bits and pieces and stuff. Like I said, I, I had my, my chair, I used to uh, strap the chair to the side or the bottom and the table I had it velcroed on. And Plus when you're packing stuff up. It, uh, but at the same time, this from Lumineer, the QAV 250 Lumineer backpack, links in the description, is is about the best pattern well i can't say the best out there now the best in its price range there you go best in its price range and it will last you for years it's super strong super durable it's bleeding great right whereas this backpack right it's like i said only a little bit cheaper than that one right but nowadays now fpv is more popular than what it was four years ago this is classed as a budget bag all right because you're looking at 200 quid again nowadays because when it first came out everything was expensive then the prices dropped off and then everybody got into fpv and stuff and the prices went through the bloody roof you know what i mean it'll balance out i reckon in another 10 years if we haven't all been banned Anyhow, Pilots and Ground Crew, I like it, I'm happy with it, I'm going to keep using it, alright, but the choice is yours, and that's what I wanted to do in this video, give you the choice, whether you want something big, and a bit bulky, but will hold more gear, or smaller and compact, and it'll still hold plenty of gear, alright, all the details in the description, I've left there, uh, or should say I will leave, all the specifications of this bag, all the specifications of that bag. Right, Longevi longevity though, right, I can tell you in 10 years that would have gone the way of the dodo and it's probably all split and ripped and this will still be in one piece and super strong and super solid. Right, that's Lumineer for you. And I'm not knocking Relic, right, Relic are a good company I get a lot of relic stuff I like relic I really do like relic but uh, the, the way this is put together it's a budget bag for the price this is brilliant if I never owned one before and I just bought this god I'd be singing its praises and it'd be amazing it'd be the best thing since freaking sliced bread but because I already had a really good one it's one of them things however the relic FPV uh, backpack I do recommend it. I know I'm not affiliated to Relic or out like that. Right, uh, but if you want to send me a frame, you can. Love Relic, love it! <laughs> Here then, pilots and ground crew. So, uh, make up your own mind. Big to hold plenty of gear, well made, nice and strong. Little bit smaller, don't hold as much, but extremely, extremely strong, durable, last you forever. Your choice. Okay then, pilots and ground crew, I really hope you enjoyed uh, this uh, video. If you did, please subscribe if you haven't already. Leave us a thumbs up if you liked it. And if you didn't like it for any reason, why? Bloody good video. <laughs> No, if you didn't like it, give us a thumbs down. But do us a favour, if you give us a thumbs down, tell us why in the description, in the comments, I should say. Tell us why you give us a thumbs down. I'm not going to start hounding yet and knocking all your videos. i like to know, right, so I can put it right for next time. You might think, oh, well, you could have gone into more detail or you've gone into too much detail. Whatever. If you give me a thumbs down, leave a message in the comment and tell me why. I appreciate criticism. There's no such thing as bad publicity. Yeah, Rupert Murdoch. <laughs> okay then, pilots and ground crew, thanks for watching and make up your own minds. Cheers.